Hello and welcome to another video with me Christian Rauchenwald. Now in today's video I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks how you can earn more phonium on your phone. Now in case you don't know what phonium is I recommend that you click on the card up here and watch my phonium review that explains what it is, how it works and much more. For all of you that are already using phonium this is the right video to watch to learn how you can increase your phonium balance the fastest. And to get started I'm going to put my phonium app screen up here and you should be able to see my current phonium balance, my current cloud earning session and basically everything else I'm seeing within the app. Now the first obvious way to earn phonium is by simply opening the app once per week and starting your cloud mining session. As you can see on the bottom of my phonium screen I just recently roughly four hours ago started my latest cloud mining session and as a result for the next seven days I'm going to receive phonium. But it's not going to be a lot you can expect somewhere between 500 and maybe a thousand phonium that you get per week this way so it's not going to make you rich right now but considering that all you have to do is open the app once per week and push one button it's already a great way to get started. And if you're already fully convinced that phonium will establish itself successfully on the market you may want to consider spending a couple of dollars to buy VIP mining sessions. During those sessions your mining rate would be increased and you would receive more phonium. However the amount of phonium that you would receive will likely be lower than what you currently paid for that mining boost. But obviously if phonium itself increases in value over time you would have received more phonium for the VIP mining sessions and in result your overall profit in the future might be bigger. However personally I'm not a fan of spending money in inner purchases especially because Phonium just like other apps also generates revenue from advertising in the app so I'm perfectly fine by using just the regular cloud mining but I wanted to point out that if you really want to speed things up you could also consider going for the VIP option and basically invest a few dollars of your own money to mine faster and receive more phonium this way. But obviously that is not the only way for you to earn phonium tokens. The phonium project has a couple of mobile games slash apps that you can install on your phone. Some of them are linked to your phonium cloud earning app so your balances are in sync. Some of them are independent but in all of them for completing certain tasks you receive phonium as a reward. And based on some discussions within our Discord community which you can by the way join by clicking on the link in the description down below, the common decision is that there are two apps that you really want to use to boost your phonium earnings. Number one would be Crypto Treasures which I put up here where within the app first of all we see that the balances are linked. Second of all to actually earn phonium tokens you will need to go to the quests menu where you will see different quests like flipping a coin, watching advertising, dig for treasures, spinning the wheel, open chests and finally rock paper scissors. Now when you have an app started so for example spin the wheel and we see this app is already started and I would need to spin likely 30 times. The requirement here will increase over time the more often you complete a specific quest However it's still one of the fastest way to earn your tokens. So in this case I would for example just close this because I started the quest and go to the right and then start spinning the wheel. Now every time I start spinning the wheel you can see there's a small loading screen. The app basically checks if there's currently advertising available that it could show me. So you would here and there while spinning see advertising in between. If that happens during this video right now I'm just gonna skip that part or blur the advertising. And so in the end you either for each spin receive in-game gold or phonium directly. Plus once you complete the task which I'm going to quickly do and fast forward to we receive a quest reward. Now with that I completed the quest you see the bar at the top of the app that tells me that's ready to complete and also the quest menu now starts blinking. So I'm going to click here to go to the quest menu and we can see next to spin the wheel that it says I've completed it so I can click on there and basically press complete to receive my reward. Now as a reward as you can see I received 300 gold, 300 experience which is for the bar on the top of the screen and one chest which I can collect right now and I obviously can open the chest as well. And don't forget here that you should also start the open chest quest first so that once you open a couple of chests you also receive another reward. Now in order to open the chest as you can see based on the button we'll have to watch another advertising which I'm going to quickly fast forward through. 
And lucky me, it seems that with opening that quest, I also completed the open chest quest. So once we complete this here and basically get our rewards, we can basically start the spin the wheel quest again. So that when we spin the wheel further and you see this time we would need to spin it 60 times, we can get more rewards and close this here, close that, click on complete and it should have the check mark next to open chest where we can go now and basically complete that one as well. Get our rewards, collect it and again open the chest by watching an ad which I will fast forward through. So we basically opened the second chest and got experience out of it. And again, as mentioned, experience fills your progress bar at the top. And once that's full, you also receive another bonus. So basically every day by just opening the app, maybe spinning the wheel a few times, checking out the other quests like playing tic-tac-toe just to pass some time can earn you some phonium. And it's one of the ways how you can actually earn the fastest or the most phonium in the shortest period of time. I wouldn't spend my days with it in the hope that phonium will eventually make me rich. But if you're sitting around and you don't know what to do for 15 minutes during the day or something, it's definitely a great way to spend your time and earn more phonium, which again, in case you forgot, it is already a real cryptocurrency token that's listed on the ProBit exchange. But as mentioned earlier, the Crypto Treasures app is not the only app I recommend to boost your phonium earnings. The second app on that list would be Crypto Cards, which I'm going to put up here. However, unlike Crypto Treasures, the phonium balance in this app is not linked with your phonium balance in the cloud earning app, which means at some point you might want to transfer the coins from Crypto Cards to your cloud earning app or maybe to the Probit Exchange or to a wallet that supports phonium. However, back to the topic at hand, to earn more phonium with the Crypto Cards app, there are a few things that you can do every day. First of all, once every 24 hours, you can spin the wheel, which works similar to Crypto Treasures. However, you can only do it once. Other than that, you would have to make an in-app purchase to unlock more spins. And as you can see, the potential phonium rewards are higher. So if you hit the right spot on the wheel, you'll actually end up receiving 250 phonium. And as an alternative, you can receive cards, which are basically what the whole Crypto Cards app is about. So I'm gonna click here to spin the wheel. And as you see, I got lucky and actually won 250 phonium with that spin. Now, if I would try to spin it again, you can see that it tells me that I can't do that for another 24 hours, but I could buy three more spins for one euro. Now, personally, I think that's not a smart investment. It would make more sense if you want to spend money to pay the two or three euro that you would have to pay for four VIP mining sessions in the cloud mining app, but that's up for you to decide. There are a few other things that you can do in the Crypto Cards app to receive rewards. First of all, you could watch up to three videos per day. And again, when we do that, you would receive rare cards in return that you could then sell on the marketplace, for example, or collect. And at some point later in the game or later in the development, there will be a battle stage where you can then play with those cards against other players. I don't know if there will be some phonium at stake so that basically winning against other players would gain your phonium and losing would cost you phonium. Uh, we will have to wait and see for that. And besides those two things, so spinning the wheel for potentially winning 250 phonium, watching the videos to receive rare cards that you can then either sell on the marketplace or collect. The third thing that you can do in the Crypto Cards app is the second menu item here where it says tap card. And when you do that, you basically, I mean, you will have more success on your phone than I have doing this with my mouse within the Bluestacks application. But it's basically a small mini game where you have 50 seconds and you basically have to press the button to jump the card. And every time the card moves over a pile of phonium coins, you basically receive phonium. You can see I suck a little bit at this with the mouse, but I think on an actual phone, it should be quite easy. And as a result, during those 50 seconds, you should at least earn around 100 phonium, probably even more. And with a little practice, you can even probably figure out how to maximize this. So I'm gonna just finish the game here and fast forward to the end. And as you can see, I just earned 110 phonium within 50 seconds by just basically tapping my screen or clicking on my screen. I'm sure that if you have the app on your actual Android device that you will achieve even higher values because it's quite tricky to do this with the mouse. 
However, it's still a great way. And if you then think about it, the Crypto Cards app, if you open it once per day, you can spin the wheel once per day and play the card game here. And as a result, potentially earn at least 100 something phonium for playing this game, plus potentially another 250 phonium for spinning the wheel. So within one minute or one minute, 30 seconds effort per day, you potentially look at like two, three, 400 phonium that you can make in a day just with that. And if you have a little bit more time and you watch the ads, to get rare cards, those might benefit you in the future as well. Now, last but not least, let's go to the method that actually allows you to earn the most phonium, and that is by inviting new users, telling other people about the phonium applications, the phonium token, and their vision, inviting them and have them use your referral code is the fastest way to actually earn a huge amount of phonium. Now, before you say it's easy for you to talk because you have this big YouTube channel, stick around, watch this video till the end. I'm gonna share a few tips and tricks with you, how every one of you can also easily get a couple of invites and earn more phonium this way. And if you're curious how much phonium you can actually earn by inviting users, you'll just have to check the invite section in the cloud earning app and you will see that for every user that you invite, as soon as they complete two mining sessions, you actually receive 200 phonium. Once they complete five mining sessions, you receive another 500 phonium. And if or when they complete 10 mining sessions, you actually receive another 1000 phonium. So potentially for each user that you invite, if they stay active in the app, you can receive a total of up to 1700 phonium. And one important thing that I wanna point out here is that you're not just limited to inviting people to the cloud earning app, but pretty much each of the Phonium applications, so crypto treasures, crypto cards, and so on, has their own invitation code. So you can technically invite people straight to crypto cards or crypto treasure and have them use your referral code there as well. And maybe that doesn't seem like much to you to be able to receive 200 Phonium when somebody signs up and completes two mining sessions, but I personally have most of my Phonium balance just from referrals. And I get it, I have this big YouTube channel and that's why I have over a thousand referrals already and you think you cannot do the same. And maybe you cannot achieve the same amount of numbers, but I'm gonna share a few tricks with you that definitely will get you in the right direction. Now, before we talk about that, I'm gonna quickly claim my latest rewards. And as you see, basically that's from two days, it's another 44,000 phonium and basically boosts my total balance from 84,000 to actually 105,000 because I also have some staking going on to 150,000 phonium. Which reminds me of one thing I unfortunately so far forgot in this video and that's staking phonium. By clicking on stake PHT, you get to the staking section where if you have a minimum of 20,000 phonium, you can stake them for a 30 day period and receive 1% staking interest. So for 20,000 phonium, you receive 200 phonium in a month just in interest, pretty much for doing nothing, for simply not transferring or using your phonium, which obviously in my opinion is the best thing to do if you think that phonium has a bright future ahead because you can just collect the phonium tokens in the cloud earning app and then every month, basically, once you cross 20,000 phonium, start your first staking and every time that staking ends, add your new balance as well to gain that extra interest. One important thing that I wanna point out here, however, is a mistake that I made. I thought that I might be able to start multiple staking sessions, so 20,000 today, 20,000 tomorrow and so on, so that they would also expire on different days of the month. However, I figured out after staking the first 20,000 that that's not possible. So once you start your staking at 20,000, you cannot add amounts to that or start a different staking while that staking is still going on. So think about that when you start your first staking and be sure that you stake the amount that you actually want to stake in one go so you don't end up missing out like I did. So for example, those 20,000 now actually gain me 200 phonium in monthly interest or in interest during the first month. However, if I would have staked my entire back then almost 100,000, it would be another 800 phonium in interest. So basically during that 30 day period, I'm missing out on roughly 800 phonium in interest just because I didn't know that I cannot start multiple staking periods or sessions at once. But back to the topic at hand, how can you get more referrals as well? I know the go-to approach for most people is to simply randomly spam their referral codes everywhere. And I can already tell you that does not work. 
However, that doesn't mean that there's no way for you to achieve referrals by sharing your invitation codes, but you have to think about from a different perspective. You have to think about it from a perspective of how you can provide value. Now I know that's a cryptic phrase, but if you think about it, you could go on platforms like for example, yahooanswers.com, quora.com, or maybe even medium.com and look for questions or content that talks about either Phonium directly or about cryptocurrencies, mining on a phone, free cryptocurrencies and stuff like that. And then write an answer or a comment that actually provides some value. So provide a short description about Phonium maybe or answer whatever the question is. And then mention, for example, a good example for a free cryptocurrency would be currently the Phonium project, which is already a real token that can be traded on the Probit exchange. However, in order to sign up, it's recommended to use a referral code. So you also get a 200 Phonium bonus and you can use this referral code. And there you put your referral code. This way it's not random valueless or worthless spam that you spread on Quora, Yahoo Answers and all the other platforms but you actually provide value. You answer questions for people or provide additional information. For example, there may be a blog post on medium.com about the Phonium project. And you could, after reading that blog post, figure out what else there is about Phonium that is not mentioned in the comment yet. Write it in the comment section and again point out for everyone that's not using Phonium yet, they may want to consider using your referral code to receive a 200 Phonium bonus. So to sum this up, besides using crypto treasure and crypto cards, you can basically utilize affiliate marketing to promote Phonium because that's what it is. You telling other people about an app that you think they would benefit from and motivizing or incentivizing them to use your referral code so they receive a bonus and you receive a reward. So in general, if you're looking for more ideas of how you can properly promote Phonium or other projects for that matter, I recommend that you simply check out or look for affiliate marketing tips because as said, that's what it is at its core. And I promise you already that none of the content out there will recommend spamming your codes everywhere because that's just wasting your time and annoying the people that have to moderate the comment section where you leave those spam comments. As always, thanks for watching. See you in one of my other videos. Till then, bye-bye.